Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSC Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 February March 2023. I am going to do the presentation task. The Word document and database are already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. So this is the presentation task. Create a presentation of 6 slides using the file M23 Vision. So first open PowerPoint. We have to import the file M23 vision. Unless otherwise instructed, the slides must display a title and a bulleted list. So this is the presentation. Now open blank presentation in order to insert the required file go to new slide on new slide you can see the option slides from outline select slides from outline select your file m23 vision insert so you will get six slides we have a blank slide here just delete that and now you can see we have six slides here step 26 make sure that your name center number and candidate number appear in the same position on all slides so the candidate details must appear on all slides so to make sure it appears on all slides let's go to the master slide go to view slide master Go to the topmost slide which is numbered as 1. Now you can insert the candidate details. Before that you can remove these three placeholders. And go to insert text box and then draw a text box. They have not specified any position so you can add it here. Name, center number and candidate number. So only these details have to be there in the master slide. Now you can close the master slide. So go to view, come back to normal view. So now you can see the candidate details will appear on all slides. Next format the first slide so that a title slide layout is applied with no bullets. The title and subtitle text are center aligned. So this is the first slide. So just right click, go to layout title slide when you apply the title slide automatically the title and subtitle will be center aligned change the layout of the slide with the title our top performing students to a title with two placeholders side by side our top performing students so this is the slide slide 5 so we have to change the layout to two content slides so right click layout so title and to content you can choose this using the file m23marks.csv create a vertical bar chart to compare the average marks for each subject except English for boys and girls so this is the file m23marks.com make sure it is shown clearly So we need to make a vertical bar chart to compare the average marks for all the subjects except English for boys and girls. So when you are selecting, we have to select this data, subject, girls and boys. Don't select the overall average, then math, computer science, design technology and science and don't select English. Now insert a vertical bar chart. So this is the option. So this is the required chart. The chart title is average marks compared. So this is the chart title. We have to 
give the title average marks compared which marks compared only the data values above each bar so So to show the data values above each bar, you can click here and then data labels or else here you can see the data label options. So I have clicked on data labels. So when you give data label, uh, select the data label, the values will be by default shown on the top of the page. If you need to make any changes, you can click here and select the option. So it's already outside and so it's showing above the bar. Next, a legend to identify the girls and boys. So we already have a legend here, girls and boys. Next, on the slide with the title, our top performing students, place the chart you created in step 29 in the right placeholder. So here on the right side, we have to place the chart. So copy the chart, go to your slide. And here you can paste it. Next format, place the contents of the file m23prizes.csv in the left placeholder. So we have prices here. Open the prices file. And we need to paste it on the right side. So this is the prices file. So copy the table. Now here you can paste the table. Go to the table design select this table design and you can choose the one with the borders here you can see the top row is uh, central lined and the phone size is little larger so make sure all of them are central line so on table after table design you can see layout here you can see central line horizontally and vertically both central line you can change the phone size little bit we change it to 16 and when you look at this data, you can see all of them are vertically aligned in the middle. So select this. Again on layout, you can change it to vertical adjustment. Vertical alignment should be in the middle. Print the slide with the title, our top performing students as a single full page slide. So this is the required slide. So we have to print this as a full page slide. So file, print, make sure full page slide is selected here and the slide number is 5. So give 5 here and then you can print this. Next, print all the slides as handouts with two slides to the page, each slide filling half the page. 
so to print the all slides uh, with two slides per page go to print here you have to choose two slides per page and remove the slide number from here you have to make sure your name and details are shown on the header or footer so just click on edit header and footer you apply to all so your candidate details will be shown on the header now you can print this document so this is the end of the presentation task please check out the links for database and document production in the description thank you for now